Hey, good morning, everyone. So last night I stayed at um, Gooch Mountain Shelter. Slept in my tent for the first time out and everything went well. No rain last night, which was very nice. Looks like there may be some rain today. Some showers off and on. Um, so I'm about 15, I think about 15 miles from Neil's Gap and eight miles from the first kind of campsite that I would consider staying on. Not sure, I did 15 yesterday, a little bit tired this morning, but otherwise feeling good. I had twisted my ankle a couple times and stepping in the mud and rolling it over, but actually feels good today. Took some ibuprofen, back's a little tight, trying to get that hiker, hiker bod down, I guess. But uh, we got a little bit of a climb starting out here. Uh, out of the shelter and head it up. So I'll turn around, give you an idea what it looks like today so far. <clears throat> As I mentioned, just a little bit of elevation today. There's actually quite a bit of elevation. If I do go all the way to Neil's Gap, um, that is going to put me at Blood Mountain, which would be kind of the first 4,000 footer, I think. So it looks like a pretty steep climb. So I don't know, we'll see uh, see what happens, see how I feel. Between here and Lance Creek, I think it's a Lance Creek um, camping area. Anyways, this is, uh, this is today's trail at the moment. Cloudy, it was a little sunny when we woke up, but clouds are coming in, it's supposed to shower, so. Just plug in all the way, talk to you later. sort of just walking along a ridge right now and uh, still going up slowly but surely we saw a lot of elevation change today but today we have got some mountain views off in the distance I don't know how well you guys can see them but it's a nice walk right now kind of a bigger peak over there but yeah so we still got some views today before the rain starts Getting, uh, getting some miles in. See, you're gonna see how I feel when I get to Lance Creek, and uh, which is eight miles, and then go from there. All right, later. Don't want to slip off here. Figured I'd show you guys a little bit uh, more of what we're hiking in the view. Some mountains off in the distance. But uh, I've been skirting this one ridge for a little while. It's really steep up here. But uh, going good. Went some miles in. Had to make a minor adjustment to my pack. I think I've got that straightened out and um, just walking along now almost to I think it's Woody Gap. I'm gonna stop there, take a little break, grab a snack, and um, take the pack off for just a few minutes before heading back out. I've got, um, got plenty of time obviously today to get to where I want to go. Um, so that's where we're at. Talk to you later. Hey, so made it to Woody Gap and grabbing me some honey stinger, but uh, first actual real road crossing. And there's the sign, Chattahoochee National Forest, Woody Gap. A few people coming through. There's actually a bathroom over there. I may have to stop there. But here we are. Pretty good climb just out of Woody Gap. And up here to an excellent view. You can somewhat see. Woody Gap is 
down there somewhere. Pretty sure the trail skirts out around the backside of that. Um, but going along good. More to come. Not sure if you can see it, but there is a deer. Right. Just happened to look down, see some tracks, and glanced over, and there was a deer. Okay, so I stopped at Lance Creek Restoration Camping. I was possibly going to stay there, but um, once I got up out of Woody Gap, I actually was feeling pretty good. And once I got to Lance Creek, I was actually doing well. My legs are feeling good. Lower back is good. Everything must have loosened up. But um, I had some food there at Lance Creek and then decided that I was going to push on another seven miles to, um, yeah, Neil's Gap. So that's where I'm headed now, trying to, on the flats and downhills, trying to go a little bit faster, just uh, I do have some pretty good climbs ahead of me uh, up over Blood Mountain, but as you can see, there is no more view. Fog, clouds, whatever, settled in, and uh, it's going to rain here pretty soon, so um, no question I'm going to get wet, but uh, I've got seven miles into Neil's Gap from Lance Creek, so what the heck, might as well push it through, I'm feeling good, got some food into me, filled up my water, and uh, just going to see where I can make it, well, make it to Neil's Gap, hopefully, but uh, I do have some climbs ahead of me, so anyways, later. So I don't know if you can really tell on camera I'm guessing you can but slightly airy as the clouds kind of rolled over it was so cool it was neat to be standing here and have that just uh, creep up on you anyways still climbing out of breath talk to you later hey everyone so made it to the top of Blood Mountain up here right now actually made it a little quicker than what I thought I did would so that's good making decent time everything's feeling pretty good legs are feeling good and uh and he's going well i got a i don't know a little over a mile or so to get myself down into neil's gap but thought uh it's pretty foggy up here but um so blood mountain is the tallest point on the at in georgia so pretty cool first four thousand footer down here down south but uh standing here at blood mountain shelter and i'm going to turn this around so you can get a look at it and i will uh just kind of walk inside, let you see what it looks like. All right, so the trail comes up from down here and actually heads up past the shelter. But uh, Blood Mountain Shelter, I think it's one of the oldest, if not the oldest, shelter on the AT. It's actually foggy inside here. It's pretty sweet. Old fireplace, all kind of shut off but uh, two rooms be a little windy and wet I don't know if you guys can hear the wind but it's whipping through the windows but kind of cool neat old building been here quite a while all right well I gotta get myself down to Neil's Gap talk to you later hey everyone so day three is completed and I made it to Neil's Gap I actually made it here a lot quicker than what I thought I was going to make it. 
basically it was uh, 31.3 miles to get to Neil's Gap from Springer Mountain and uh, doing the approach trail and getting here to Neil's Gap puts me at basically 40 miles um, which was very good actually way faster than what I thought I did two 15 mile days after getting up Springer Mountain which put me into Neil's Gap uh, about two days earlier than what I originally expected. I was just gonna do like seven or eight miles to start, but legs actually feel really good. And uh, as you can see, I'm sitting in a hotel, just uh, decided that I would uh, take a zero and rest my legs. They are a little bit tired, but uh, no major pains other than twisting an ankle a couple of times, but that actually was fine. I did that on day two and by you know today, day three, uh, it was actually feeling fine hiking. So. No big issues there and decided to dry everything out. I've got things kind of laid out here and hoping to dry and I'm going to do some laundry and then basically get back on the trail. Uh, Thursday looks like it's going to be a sunny day, which kind of kind of bummed that I'm taking that as my zero, but uh, I figured at least it'd give me a chance to dry things out. I'm going to start back on the trail Friday. I'm basically about 46 miles to North Carolina border. So I should be able to knock that out. The only thing, obviously right now, the ATC is basically asking hikers to either postpone or stop their through hikes, which is kind of a bummer. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do just yet. I think I'm gonna continue at least to North Carolina and then make my decision there. There's a lot of people getting off the trail, but there still seems to be quite a few that are gonna continue. And the biggest thing, obviously, as I mentioned in my video, it's, it's gonna be, the resupplies obviously getting getting food and uh, resupplies and, and obviously we don't want to if it had it don't want to infect anybody um, so we'll see how it goes and like I said right now on the as far as AT mileage I'm sitting at 31.3 miles and uh, everything seems to be going pretty good so <clears throat> a couple funny stories from day three I uh, if anybody that knows me well knows that I'm fairly competitive so as I'm hiking along, and I've, I've been hiking pretty much by myself for the most part, you kind of come up upon somebody and you might chat with them for a little bit. But basically, in my mind, and this is me just trying to basically kill time, if you want to put it that way, being, being competitive, uh, heading to a shelter, I see somebody in front of me and I'm thinking to myself, well, if I pass them, that is an open tent spot for me. And I'm not doing it maliciously. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I just It's just me kind of just having uh, having fun with hiking. And uh, when I see somebody in front of me, I, I picture that as an open tent site when I get there. They may not even be going to the same site, but uh, just a little bit funny story. And then, uh, so the second thing, three days and, you know, no shower, sweating, muddy, wet, and come across a group of people, <clears throat> so some adults and then a, a few kids. And kids are so honest. As I walk by and I get a little ways past them, <laughs> I'm still within earshot, but I don't think they understood, could, could knew that. And uh, one of the kids is like, oh, is he smelly? <laughs> and I kind of chuckle, and then I hear the father say that, well, you know, I was gassy yesterday, but I'm trying not to be as much today, but you're right, that's pretty smelly. So another reason why I figured I'd come into town and, and uh, get some laundry done and kind of go from there. So anyways, it's been, uh, first three days have been great. Uh, other than the rain, we did have some sunshine uh, day two, kind of in the afternoon, the sun came out and it was nice and, and warm. Um, once I get started back up, it's going to be warm, but it looks like uh, Friday will be some, some rain with maybe some thunder showers overnight. So no big deal. We'll deal with it. And then it looks like maybe a nice day Saturday. So, but everything's going well. And, uh, it's just making that decision of if, uh, if I'm going to stay on trail or not, which, uh, really kind of bummed about it's, you know, obviously it's a lot of, a lot of prep tr to try to get here in time, you know, time uh, taken off and stuff like that. So anyways, that's my update. And I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Uh, try to do you know, as much as I can when it's raining out or I'm trying to get to a shelter. It's not, uh, not getting as much video time, but we shall see how things go. Anyways, thanks for checking out the videos, guys. Hope you enjoy.